it's made easy. So our today's topic is Newton's second law of motion. If you haven't watched Newton's first law of motion, I have mentioned a link in the description box so you can go and check out there. Fine, so let's begin with Newton's second law of motion. If you know the sentence, so repeat with me. I can pay attention to my words. So the law says that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force and takes place in the direction in which the force acts. Hey, wait, what is momentum? Okay, so let's get clear with the concept or the word called as momentum. So momentum is simply mass into velocity. But what's mass and what's velocity? Let's get clear with that. Mass is nothing but a body. Mass is a body? Really? See, every body possesses a mass. And every mass exists in a body. So if a body does not have a mass, that body is invisible. Wow, that's pretty amazing, isn't that? Fine. And what's velocity? Simple. Speed. So velocity, speed and mass is nothing but a body. So if a body gets speed, means it gets momentum. Just we have many examples. Like if you're walking, you got a momentum because you are a body, you are a mass and you've got a, some sort of speed. If you're running, again you've got a momentum. You're driving a vehicle, that vehicle have got a momentum. So there are many such things like that. Fine, let's come back to a law. So what Newton said, the rate of change is momentum. Now what's called as rate of change? Rate of change is nothing but something upon time. Like momentum upon time is the rate of change of momentum. I hope you're getting my point there. Anything like you take speed upon time is rate of change of speed. Velocity upon time is rate of change of velocity. That's pretty simple. So the law is the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force. Now what exactly Newton is trying to say here? Let's get clear with a very pretty example of this cube. Now pay attention to this example. So here I have this cube. I've placed it over here and just see, I'm trying to push that cube with a single tip of my finger as you can see. See, I'm pushing it. Oh, it went to a slight little distance. Now what if I'm going to push it with a greater force? Just have a look at that. Oh man, that was pretty amazing. As you saw here, when I applied more force, this cube went to a far more distance. Then when I applied less force, it went to less distance. So what it denotes that the force is directly proportional to the momentum. Like the more the momentum, the more its speed is going to be, it's going to cover the things in less time. That's what Newton is trying to say. How much force you're going to apply, that much momentum is going to take place. Suppose the force is less, momentum is going to be less. Force is more, momentum is going to be more. Speed is going to be more and time is going to be less. I hope you're getting my point there. But there are some last few words which says that force Let's see the sentence once again. The rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force and takes place in the direction in which the force acts. Now this is pretty common and simple. Suppose I'm applying force on this cube over this side. So but naturally the cube is going to move over this side, not that side. Am I right? Yeah. Good. So wherever you apply the force in that direction, the momentum is going to take place. I hope you're getting my point in a very pretty cool manner. Let's repeat the sentence once again. The rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force and takes place in the direction in which the force acts. I hope you got my point and Newton's second law of motion. Do hit the like button, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet for more such exciting videos of science. Great fun learning. Thank you.